Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 17 in Custo Query playlist. In this video, we will be focusing on top operator in Custo Query language, how to use it with a sample demo example. So before watching this video, as I always say, consider watching Azure Data Explorer playlist, at least three, four videos, and also consider watching previous videos also because all the videos in my playlist are in a sequence order so that you will get most out of it whenever you are watching any video. So now let's focus on this top operator. So this top operator actually returns as name says, it returns first n number of records after sorting the data from the top. So that means if you remember my previous video, what I said is there is something called take operator that will take uh, n number of records, whatever you mention, and you can sort that data and also take it. So indirectly, uh, you can use either take along with the sort by operator or use top by top. When you use top operator, you need to mention by then column name with which it has to sort and then take the top. So both gives either this kind of query or this kind of query sort by with take operator. Both actually does the same job. So if it is not making sense, don't worry. Now I'm going to explain this with a practical demo. Let me go to Kusto Explorer here. Under connections, we have connected to the help cluster and we have something called Storm Events Table. If you have seen my previous videos, you already know this. If you haven't watched, consider watching them so that what is this help cluster? What is this Storm Events Table? You will get an idea. So this table, nothing but it contains uh, storms happened across the states in the United States of America for a certain period of time. So it's only a sample data set. So now here under home menu, let me try to hit this new tab to open a new query window. And here what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this query like storm events from the storm events table. Let's do one thing. Let's sort by injuries direct that means direct injuries happened because of that storm in descending order so let me execute this query so as we are expecting this query actually sort the data from the storm events table in descending order based on the injuries direct happened column that means in in a particular row if it has the highest number of injuries happened then that row will become at the top one and if you see here if you see the output we got the entire data and if you see here we got this injuries direct column data in a descending order. Why? Because that's how we sorted. Now here after sort by if I use take operator as I said in my previous video and if I say take five, let me hit execute this button. What it will do? It will take this five rows because sort the data then take the five rows. That's what we are trying to say here. And we discussed this in our previous video also. So when I query, when I run this query, you can see the same thing. Now whatever you are seeing this output from this query it is actually exactly same to this query so let me try to use this tram events table and then top five by injuries direct descending order so this order you can mention ascending or descending up to you okay so now let me hit execute this button even this will give the same kind of reason why because when you use top by you have to mention a column with which you have to sort and I'm mentioning like a descending order sorting. Once it starts, take the top five. So basically what I'm trying to say, uh, this query and this query, both are actually equivalent. Even though we are using a different operators, it does the same thing. Even as per the performance angle also, both are actually same. So that's how top operator will help you to fetch the records from the top after sorting the data from the input table. I hope you got an idea how this top operator actually works and you got a similarity between top and take to uh, the take operator and top operator. So thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.